Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Life of Senza. So, I'm out here doing an uh, introduction, I guess a reintroduction, uh, with Mona and her baby. This is Remy. You can see how big Remy has gotten. And that's Ibiza right there behind her and Preacher. So Preacher and Mona are Remy's parents. Remy is the light colored dog, the smallest one so far. And um, hey, Preacher, back over here. Come on, let's go. Bring it over here. Oh, the sun is like shining in my face. There we go. There's Ibiza, big old Ibiza. She's a huge female. She may actually be taller than Preacher. Honestly, it's a very big dog. You can see how big Mona is here. She's about as big as Preacher. May even be taller. Oh, oh, be gentle now. Watch out now. Oh, broke on her face. Oh, sorry. That was... Yes, yeah, so you can see how big Ibiza is. She's like, girl, I will take you out if you mess with my stick. She's a gorgeous dog, though. Look at that movement. So, um, Remy is actually a very young... I, 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 no! Remy, get back over here now! Let's go! Mona! Back over here now! Mona! That's a bad dog! You get your butt over here now! Mona, come here now! No! 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 Mona! Mona! Alright. Okay, you guys. I got Mona back. So... The reason that I'm including my failures lately is because I included one yesterday. It's because I want you guys to see that there's no magic in this. It takes work. I have not um, been out here. Or as you guys can obviously tell, I haven't been able to do videos, pack videos. And so I've not been out here working with my dogs as much. And I'm working on them now. I'm doing more now. But, um, but anyway, the, you can tell how my dogs are reacting to me that they are not properly trained right now they're not listening to me because I have not put in the work and if that should tell you anything it should tell you that even if you did have really good dogs to start with you have to keep up and you have to keep going and you have to make sure that you're always working and fine-tuning your dog and so if you notice that you have a dog that isn't listening to you then you need to take the time and work with that dog and that's exactly what I did I went and got her out of her kennel, put her on her leash, and put it up tight so that she has to listen to me, and brought her butt out here. And she's got her sad face on, but she'll get over it. And um, and we're going to work with the dog. And I'm just going to show you guys, just like you guys know I always am. I'm always honest about what I do and what it takes to do this. And that's why I don't have a huge pack out right now. I know that a lot of people would love to see that, but... I have not put in the work and I'm not going to set my dogs up for failure because um, I'm not where I need to be and they're not where they need to be. Look at that structure. Um, and so, and so anyway, so I've restricted her freedom. Maybe now she'll, maybe now she'll be fine. So, um, so it's one of the things that I teach people. If you tell your dog to do something, they better do it. Do not allow them to do what they want to do. Do not allow them to go off and um, and win, you know. I hollered at her. She decided she was going to go back in her kennel and lay down in her, in her dog house. And I said, nope. I went and got her by the leash, brought her stubborn butt back out here, and here we are. And so, you know, that's the reality. I'm not going to sit here and, you know start over and blah 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 because I want you to see the reality of dog ownership uh, of pack ownership and the fact that you know you got to be out here working with your dogs you got to be you know if you want to have uh, dogs that you can do stuff with you got to you got to keep putting in the work and and the reality is is that this isn't any different for those of you that just have a pet at home you know, you may have put in the work five years ago, but if you've been letting your dog do what it wants for the last two years, then 
the, the dog is probably not going to listen as well. So even if you've done the work, even if you put in the training, always make sure that you're keeping up with it, that you're coming back out. Remy, no. Get your butt over here. And that you're, that you're making sure that they know, good girl, good girl, that when you say to do something, that you mean it. And that you will enforce what you've told them to do. As long as they know that, they're very likely to listen. Um, and that's what I did with her. I didn't have to punish her. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to, to do nothing. No, no training other than, I don't care what you think you just got away with. I'm going to go, I'm going to get you and I'm going to bring your stubborn butt right back over here. And we're going to do exactly what I said we're going to do. And that's all the training she needed was the reinforcement of knowing that she did not get her way. Preacher, what are you getting into? Psst. Hey, what's that? I don't trust you no way. What is it? You better stay out of it. Look at that. Look at that exaggerated tail wagging. That's her saying she's sorry. Preacher, you've been rolling, boy. You are dirty. You're a dirty man. Get out of it. Go on. She gave me her, her classic sad Mona face. She's got the saddest face in the business. She'll turn it on you. Has a weapon. Ibiza! Good girl. Then my baby girl. Dang, she's a big old dog, man. She is nice. Whew, I like her a lot. Very nice dog. It's tempting to put her out in the show ring. Reese and I were talking about putting out some dogs soon. Um, and she was asking me who I would put out. And it's tempting to put Ibiza out because she's so nice, but she really still needs more time to mature. Uh, I think I would do Switch, which is my um, oldest Trinity daughter out of Trinity and Mad Mortigan. Um, I think that's the female that I'm going to do. Wait, my Velocity daughter. I don't. I think she's too European style. Um, I will still breed her because the European style is the breed, right? I mean, that is the breed. But in America, they really they need to be more of a sizable dog. And unfortunately, Izzy is not a particularly sizable dog. She's not small, but she's definitely not sizable. So Mona's behind me. And she might think that I'm not watching her, but I am. And I'm testing her to see what she does if she tries to take off. Or, or if she comes back. Oh, there she is. Look at her coming back. Good girl, Mona. Good girl. Look at her look away. She thought about it. Oh, Mona. What do you think you're doing? I see you thinking about it. Ah. Good girl. Good girl, Mona. Good girl. No my baby girl. Yeah, no baby. Yes, you are the sweetest. You're the saddest face in the business, but you're also one of the sweetest. Yeah, the good girl. Look at look at Ibiza. Oh, Shh, testing it, testing it. Oh, testing it. Oh, look at her cutting off, cutting off her path. Let's see what Mona does. Mona's being pretty, pretty nice about it right now, playing with her. But Ibiza is definitely pushing boundaries. She's being young and pushy. Yeah, good girl, Jabiza. Pretty girl. She's a beautiful dog. Just a powerhouse of muscle and um, design. Fantastic, man. You see how she's just as big as Preacher? And mind you, she's like maybe 13, 14 months old right now. And she's almost just as big as Preacher. And she's still extremely agile. And I think it's very important... Was it agile? Agile? I don't know. Um, I think it's extremely important to, to, to demonstrate to people that size uh, isn't really the downfall of a lot of breeds. It's not that being oversized is a problem. It's that being oversized and having absolutely no structure is a problem. When you breed these oversized, heavy bone, square dogs with no rear angulation, no front, and a roach top line, yeah, those dogs are going to break down because they are not designed properly. Any, any 
you know, building will fall down if it's not built properly. It doesn't matter how big it is. It matters um, who designed it. And so to me, I like big dogs. Um, I like the fact that Ibiza is about as big as a male and, and she's only, um, you know, 14 months old. I like that. Uh, and I like the fact that she can still move fantastically. See, that's why you shouldn't have been eating that grass. Now you're going to throw it up. Cochino. Oh, and now somebody's always there to, to eat it up. Yep, that's a whole lot of grass right there, bruh. I don't know that I'll be eating that. <sighs> anyway. So, yeah, really fantastic dog. And Remy's doing good. You can see she's not she's not an overly um, submissive dog. She's not, uh, like, um, we've had some weak temperaments around here. Gina was a weak temperament. And she didn't want to socialize. Um, very, very fearful. This dog's not like that at all. She's very sweet, very respectful. Um, as you saw, she kind of irritated Preacher a little bit earlier with the licking at the face, but she um, quit that after she realized that it wasn't gaining her any favor. And um, she's just now doing her thing and willing to kind of look around. And, and so I like her. She's a good dog. Like I said, she's a sister to... Um, Blondie, they both have the same father, which is Preacher. And she looks just like Blondie. Ugh. But way better structure. Way better structure. Uh, Blondie doesn't have, like, the worst structure, especially now that she's matured. But doesn't hold a candle to Remy. Remy is a, is a t totally uh, nicer dog. Mm. She just wants to play so bad. She just wants to roughhouse so bad. See, thing is, is if I put Grim out here, he'd roughhouse with her, but he'd beat her up. Ah, ah, girls, now, Ibiza! Remy, come now, leave it. Think I don't see you trying to look at my chickens? Whoa! Chingo. Did you rim me? Whoa, whoa. Watch out, Remy! Watch out, she's trying to get you, girl. Good Lord, Ibiza. Golly, all she wants to do is outwork the next dog next to her. You see that? Beautiful movement on these dogs. Fantastic. Look at that. Oh. Should have been farther out. She's like... She's like that one dude that 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 movie we just watched the the, the show the boys. She's like I am stronger. I am better. Uh, uh, what are you doing? What are you doing, funny dog? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? She's like somebody somebody compete with me. Yeah, compete with me. She says. Yeah, compete with me pretty girl you pretty girl can I throw you a stick will you throw will you go after it hmm will you go after it you big old girl yeah she's gonna be a rock star in the ring when she's ready but she's not there yet gotta have patience I wonder if there's a stick that I can throw for them I can't always throw sticks for the dogs because sometimes the group is too tense and I can't what's this what's this you ready? What's this? Your daddy likes sticks. Let's go get it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty wild. Is uh, if. As big as Ibiza is, and she is, it, you know, R Remy looks smaller, right? But Remy is, like, much younger. She's, like, four months, I think, younger 
maybe even more than Ibiza and she's very close to her size so if that should tell you anything it's that it's that even though Ibiza is a huge female and she is um Remy is probably going to be bigger really excited I, got, I kept a black female back out of uh, Mad Mortigan and uh, Mona, and she's really nice too. Really long in the body, great front, great rear, um, but with a head. Basically, a replica of this dog, but with a head. Very, very good. I'm, I'm really excited about it. I really wanted to put her to Batista, but I don't know, man. He, he might be done, y'all. He, I don't know what it is, but, um... He may be done. Um, I've tried to put him to stuff and he didn't seem interested. So I'm not sure if maybe the female, because I, I will say I think the female could have been having some hormone issues. But anyway, we'll have to see. Look at that. She's like, chase me. Ooh, she is so good. Ugh. She is super confident, man. She's something else. Something else, man. She's nice. Anyway. Well, I'm going to let y'all go. I've got some work to do around the house. And I'm trying to find a way of balancing my normal mom duties. And also trying to make sure that I get content out for you guys. And I got hit by this. I think I had just been surviving so long with everything going on here. Initially. that, And then with my son. That... I think I got over, I don't even know what the word is, like I, um, I, I just kind of went into like a hibernation in a way and I had to like reset, maybe I was like overstimulated or something and I couldn't do much of anything. I mean I was doing what I needed to do, like my basics, um, but I couldn't do anything more than that. And, and I just had to kind of take a break, um, from the dogs and from everything. And, um, so like, obviously everyone's been fed and watered and this and that, but I've just, I really had to take some me time. And I know that there's some people that don't understand that. And they think that the dogs come over everything. But the truth is, is that I'm the one supporting the dogs and holding them up and if I need to take some time for myself so that I can continue to do that then that's just what I'm going to do and that's what I did and now I'm getting back to working with everybody and um, training with everybody and making sure that I can start to do more pack videos and um and stuff like that so structure did my baby boy and um because any little thing would just like would just like tip me over you know what I mean and I just in, if I was gonna heal I had I had to give myself a hundred percent time to heal and so that's what I've done I feel a lot better and like I said I'm trying to um get back to the content of you know working with these dogs and showing you guys what it's like so anyway I hope you guys are having a good day and I'll talk at you later bye